D'accord. Okay. Uh -huh. Can we begin? Okay, yeah, let me just introduce you real quick um, for everybody um, joining us. You see uh, Damien Solar up there. Uh, Frey Solar has yes, been yes. Uh, the longest running Alsatian producer in our in the Kindred Vines portfolio, uh, starting with uh, JNR Selections um, and JC Mathis and Dan Farley. And, uh, uh, you know, very proud to have the wines of Frey Solar in our book. Uh, we, you know, we kind of had a resurgence with them back a few years ago. Um, we are hopefully going to welcome, we're planning on coordinating to get Damien in the market here very soon. And, uh, you know, we, we're really, really proud of this producer. Um, you know, he'll go through obviously the historical, the historical significance of the, uh, the property, but, uh, you know, very, very excited to have Damien on and he can tell us all about, uh, all about his role in his family's business. So, uh, go ahead, Damien. Yeah. Hello, I am uh, Damien Soler. I am a wine grower with my brothers and uh, I am the manager of the Fry Solar Estate. I am working with my brothers Nicolas, who is the winemaker, and Jean, who prepare the orders. And since one year, Baptiste, the son of Nicolas, uh, comes to us and he managed uh, the wine yard with his father and now Aude, my daughter, works on the office and make the fairs and the sale with me. Aude and Baptiste are the sixth generation. Yes. Our, we are uh, all the family uh, in the middle of Alsace region. Our oldest ancestors uh, came uh, from Switzerland in the year uh, 1709 to Chervillers. And since uh, we have uh, our family has, uh, has wine yard and is working the wine yard in Alsace. Alsace, uh, the Alsace uh, region is located uh, 50, 50, 500 kilometers in the east of Paris, uh, near the border of Germany. Our village, Cherville, is situated in the middle of Alsace under the Ortenburg Castle. Alsace uh, is one of the most popular white wine country of France. Uh, Alsace produces also rosé and red wines and uh, very good sparkling wines. In Alsace, we have uh, 51 uh, Grand Cru voilà, and uh, we own a vineyard on the Grand Cru from Stein uh, near the village of Chervillers in the village of Dobarlaville. In Alsace, the name of the grape varieties give the name to the wine. We have uh, six uh, white wine grape varieties and uh, one for red wine or rosé is the Pinot Noir. We have another grape variety is the Klimner of Heiligenstein. This is a Savagnin Rose grape variety. And, uh, but we called uh, only plant uh, this uh, grey variety near in the village of Heiligenstein, where we have a small parcel. We have also jar Chardonnay, Chardonnay, but we can use the Chardonnay only for sparkly wine. Yes, uh, we are uh, located in the middle of Alsace uh, and uh, we have a small river, a very beautiful river, Obach, which uh, flees in the middle of our village. And we are very old uh, family established in uh, Chervillers. The winemaker is my brother, Nicolas, who makes the wine... Uh, winemaker school and uh, he has now a very good experience uh, with uh, with the vinification we have uh, we are uh, 
beautiful estate with uh, 32 hectares uh, because the average of Alsace uh, is uh, nine hectares. We are working to seven people around the year and we have a lot of work in the vineyards uh, in, in the cellar. We are, uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, we are certified uh, Teravitis uh, since the vintage 2015, but we were a pioneer in, uh, in, the, in the year 82 uh, and 83 because we uh, saw a clover in the, in the wine yard uh, since this time. You can uh, visit our. Uh, you can make a virtual visit of our cellar, and uh, you can see a lot of work. Uh, every tanks, uh, wood, uh, the wood uh, tanks also. During harvest time, uh, the temperature of the grape juice uh, are uh, getting cold. Uh, two days on seven degree when the, the juice comes out of the wine press. Huh? We have pre pre pneumatic press, so the fermentation cannot begin. During these two days, the sediment of the grape juice settle on the bottom of the tanks. So after two days on seven degree, the, ju the juice is very clear and we can transfer the, the grape juice in an auto tanks where begin the fermentation. We make uh, the recognized wine of the Riedersberg under the castle of the Ortenburg. The wood of this, uh, of this Riedersberg it has a microclimate from seven to eight degrees more than the average of Alsace uh, because the granite the granite stone uh, keep the heat uh, the heatness during the night uh, here you can see in the smoke uh, no October morning uh, the village uh, of Chervillers uh, which has uh, 3200 people uh, and uh, where uh, where my youngest brother Olivier is the mayor of the village. Uh, nice. uh, here you see the family in our cellar. You can see our mother Marta. We has begin the sales. Uh, of the bottles because before uh, my grandfather sells the wine in tanks to the big negotiation and uh, you see also uh, Aude and Baptiste, uh, the youngest generation, generation uh, and uh, Nicola and uh, me behind. Well, we have uh, a beautiful uh, shop uh, on the Alsace Wine Road. The, the Alsace, uh, the Alsacian Wine Road, is the oldest uh, wine road, uh, the famous wine road of the world. Uh, it has uh, this year the 60, uh, 60 uh, years old. We have uh, different wine. Here you can see the Riesling Riedersberg on, on the granitic uh, soil. This is a vintage 2013. And this is a very good uh, keeping wine. Uh, we can drink this wine today, uh, but uh, can uh, keep uh, easy this wine 10, uh, 15 years, and it will be each year better and better. <coughs> Pinot Gris on the same hill. Uh, Pinot Gris is the same vintage, 2013, is a semi dry uh, wine uh, which uh, can be used for aperitif, uh, dessert, but also for uh, white meat such as duck, uh, uh, for uh, 
for fish with sauce, for a lot of things. We can make a, a dinner, a complete dinner with this wine from the aperitif to the dessert. Pinot Blanc Reserve is a light wine, and uh, this wine is uh, a little fruity and uh, supple and uh, can be used uh, especially for, uh, for appetizer and, and the beginning of uh, meals. Muska. Muska is a very good uh, aperitif wine with uh, beautiful uh, smells of uh, Muska grapes. Uh, he's light, has not so much alcohol that the uh, other wines, uh, and will be very good for aperitif, for asparagus, and for uh, grilled fish. If you come in Vieivin, that means old wines. Uh, this is uh, one of the top uh, of our wines. Uh, when we make a fair, this is each time the most uh, sold wine on the fairs. It has a beautiful uh, flower of exotic fruit of uh, lychee. It's a sweet wine, uh, which is very good with aperitif, uh, with uh, foie gras but also with strong, che strong cheeses such as uh, Roquefort, uh, Master, with uh, sweet and salty uh, meals uh, such as Chinese meal and uh, with uh, um, spicy meals. Cremant Blanc de Blanc, we make a lot of Cremant in the first time when uh, we can see Cremant on the bottle. is absolutely the same vinification that Champagne with a second fermentation in the bottle. In uh, France, we have eight uh, countries uh, which can uh, write a Cremant on the bottle, Jura, Burgundy, Savoie, Di, Limou, Bordeaux, Loire Valley, and Alsace. And Alsace produce so much crema that the seven other countries together. And crema blanc de blanc is uh, that mean uh, white wine from white grapes uh, is uh, very good for aperitif. Uh, it uh, has uh, the same nose, uh, uh, same beautiful nose such as uh, champagne and. Uh, can be used uh, for aperitif, for meals, for buffet, uh, for a lot of things. Cremant Riesling, uh, this is our big uh, speciality in uh, in uh, Cremant. We have begun uh, with the Cremant Riesling with a essay in 1983, and with the first vintage, we received uh, immediately a gold medal and the uh, wine competition. And since this time, we make a lot uh, of cream or Riesling. Uh, we send a lot of cream or Riesling around the world. This is a very good wine with a beautiful fruity and uh, is brut, uh, which can be drink in uh, ap with aperitif, but also with a smoked fish, uh, with a sauerkraut, with seafood, uh, and this wine, uh, in our, but only in the graph soil from our village, uh, can be kept uh, a lot of years. And this wine received uh, five tasses de vin at the Sommelier International Testing in New York in January 2017. A selection of Noblot uh, and uh, Vendange Tardive. We cannot, uh, we need uh, a very good uh, autumn for this wine. Uh, because many years we have a very good uh, season, summer season for a very good vintage, but the autumn is too, too, uh, 
too much raining or uh, so we cannot make uh, selection of uh, noble road uh, so we need uh, smoke or very cold and a uh, lot of wind and so in wind with the autumn we we can uh, make a very good uh, wines uh, we can which we can uh, keep uh, 30 40 perhaps uh, 50 years It is a Riesling Selexo de Grenoble vintage 2015. It's a very great uh, vintage uh, with, with a beautiful summer, but also the autumn was uh, so as we want uh, with wind uh, and uh, not so cold, uh, but uh, a little humidity. And uh, we had uh, the beginning of the Noble Road uh, very early and that uh, is, is a very great vintage. The Wurstraminer Selexo de Grenoble, this is our last vintage, 2007, because uh, to have the uh, Wurstraminer selection of Noble Rot, uh, we need uh, enough uh, sugar in the grapes, uh, end of November, such so to make, to have 18.2 uh, 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 alcohol. And uh, this is so high that we could not uh, make a selection of Noble Rot uh, in Gewürztraminer since this time. Uh, we hope this year, but uh, nothing is sure. Uh, yes, so we are we are uh, very proud of uh, our wines of the different uh, of the different uh, medal that we receive. We are in a lot of wine guides. We have uh, a customer who speak to the customer and they come to take to have wine from us. We have. Uh, a lot of uh, people who speak about our wines on Facebook, and uh, we are very proud of our wines, of our wine making, of our works. Uh, and uh, we, we are sure that we have one of the, uh, the beautifulest uh, works uh, of the world. Many times uh, it's uh, very nice uh, to cool travel we, for our wines. Uh, I go each uh, two years to China and uh, to because we have a very good sales in China. And last uh, from uh, last month, uh, a customer uh, from uh, our estate sent us the, the list of a restaurant where he find our our. Uh, uh, Riesling on the wine cards. Uh, I travel also to New York, and when I, I each time I have a, a bottle of Riesling in my bag, and if I can, uh, I make a, a picture with uh, the with the with the speciality. And here you can see in New York under the Liberty statue, but it was very difficult to make uh, this picture with the custom. <laughs> so. Yes, uh, here you can find uh, the resume of uh, each of the country, of the terroir, uh, of the history of the family. Our production, each barrels are equipped with uh, temperature control, such uh, the old barrels, wood barrels, which are between 100 and 150 years old. Because now, with the heatness during the summer and the harvest time, our time we need uh, such, uh, uh, such equipment. Thank you so much, Damien. Does anybody uh, anybody out there have any questions right now? No, but the uh, one. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, I, sorry. I, I, okay. Hi, Damien. It's Carrie. How are you? Uh, fine. Uh, I carry. Uh, fine. Uh, and you? Uh, you'll have to come see me in Traverse City soon. <laughs> um, I yes, wanted uh, to. Sure. Yeah. With pleasure. Yes. Uh, with. Uh, but I hope we have not so cold that last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he came to visit in uh, February, so yes. it was pretty cool. <laughs> yes. I, yes, Jamie, we yes. I I was hoping that you could talk a little bit more in depth about the different microclimate that you have going on. You were talking about the seven to eight degree difference, and how does that yes. make your wines more distinctive than other producers in the area? Uh, is uh, not that or the producer, but uh, we are not alone on the Rittersberg. On the Rittersberg, we have this microclimate because uh, it's a way uh, granitic soil, and uh, the the granite, uh, the stone, uh, the big stone of granite, keep the heatness during the day, and uh, keep this uh, heatness in the to the night a part of the night uh, and in the wood in the wood under the castle of the Ortenburg uh, with this microclimate we can find a lot of fauna and flora which is very different than the average of Alsace. Uh. Uh, Damien I have a question um, this is Chuck yes. Can you explain more about the Terra Vetus certification that you received in 2015? What exactly does that mean for your property? Can you repeat, Chuck? I have not understood. So the uh, Terra Vetus certification you received in 2015? Yes. Can you explain a little bit more about what that, that certification means? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, but uh, we uh, we would uh, have uh, we will we more ask more and more for the journalist if we uh, how we are working our vineyard and uh, we have uh, we have uh, so uh, clover in the vineyard since the year 1982. And now we would have uh, an official certification about uh, our vineyard and about our wines, uh, for especially for the journalist. Uh, and uh, this certification uh, um, uh, is uh, Teravitis is a certification uh, who, for the wine for the. Uh, customers, uh, so he, they can be sure that the winemaker respect the nature, the man, and the wines. Uh. Okay, thank you. I hope uh, it was good enough. Good for you. Oh, it was great. It was perfect. Thank you very much, thank Damien. You, Damien. Oh, bad. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Uh. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Have a great day. You too.